the day. We are checking out the 10, Gordon, top 10, Gordon Ramsay outbursts. Now, for those who don't know who Gordon Ramsay is, he's basically the host of Kitchen Nightmares, <laughs> Hotel Nightmares, and uh, Hell's Kitchen. You should check it out. It's pretty good stuff. Gordon Ramsay is really entertaining. He just tells it as it is. <laughs> Now, these are actually top 10 experts from all of his shows. So, let's see what made the top 10. Now, I know this was actually uploaded last year. And, ironically, this is actually three days after my birthday. I know, I'm a little late. But, then again, I only started in the December last year, I think. Oh, wait. Make that November. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. If you like this, I'll link the original video down below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's rock. I watch him. Here we go. Overcooked on the bottom, crispy as <laughs> and it looks like Gandhi's flip flop. <laughs> what a shame. I don't know where he comes up with this stuff. The only things better than his masterful He's cooking creative, are it? his devastating insults. Uh, who cooked the fondants? Lovely. Lovely. Yes, sir. Wish they're not. Come here. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Gordon Ramsay outbursts. Service. How long do you think it might be? Would you mind taking your breath off my hot plate? Yeah, look at that. How do I serve food with those fucking things there? <laughs> Chicken. Oh! For this We'll be taking Hello. a look at the British That's celebrity chef's most brutal, quotable, and hilarious verbal beatdowns. All rages, rampages, and insults are welcome across all of his hit shows like Kitchen Nightmares and Hell's Kitchen. We will, however, not be including any skits or sketches like Hell's Cafeteria. Prepare funny bones for a feast. What are you? James Corden. An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Chef Ramsay. <laughs> Number 10. Sue me. Hell's Kitchen. Oh, this f***ing hell. What was she doing? That's wrong. When Gordon Ramsay is on the warpath, you would do well to just stay out of his way. And definitely don't make a scene about it. Just, I mean, this, this is where you are. Just, just stop. This is where you are. During yet another especially disastrous dinner service at Hell's Kitchen, the red team continually fails to produce scallops that meet with Chef Ramsay's approval. I don't know what it is with you, but you've given up. I and it's fucking standard, shows. So. After tossing them away in anger, one ricochets and hits a contestant, who responds by acting like he was just shot with a bullet. That's f***ing right as shit. Does Ramsay care? You be the judge. Shut Sue me. Number 9. Non-stick. Non -stick. Hell's Kitchen. Chef Ramsay has put both Heather and Sarah on the appetizer station, and Sarah has taken charge of cooking the scallops. Don't you just hate it when someone makes such a basic mistake that it causes your voice to break? It happens really? all the time, really. You know it does. You only need turning once, Sarah, otherwise they become overcooked, yes? Yes, chef. Well, anyway, the misuse of a non-stick pan causes our favorite angry chef to do just that. Oh, come on. In fact, he looks so blown away by the stupidity of the situation that it's possible he may have actually lost his mind for a second. If you saute scallops in a non-stick pan, they won't stick. That's why it's called non-stick. Warning to all future culinary <laughs> yeah. hopefuls. Remember the basics if you're working under Gordon Ramsay. I don't know what non-stick means in Texas, sweetheart, but me. Number eight, Thanks. no trust. Kitchen Nightmares. What is going on here? What's that? It takes next level incompetence to contaminate your entire inventory of stored food. And Gordon Ramsay managed to find himself someone with just those qualifications. Disgusted by the conditions at one Mexican restaurant, including a lump of fat masquerading as ground beef. What's that? That was the ground beef. Seriously? Ground beef? How of it's Fat, you idiot! And a bucket yeah. of cement in a refried beans mask. What's that? The bean. Oh, That's the how? Beans. It's like a cement mixer. Chef this Ramsay goes solid. full on ballistic. Are you stupid? Not content with just calling out the lazy restaurateur in front of his staff. You're overstaffed, underworked, shit food. I wouldn't trust you running a bar, let alone a Ramsey also plays a gross-out round of show-and-tell with the establishment's hapless diners. Ladies and gentlemen, this one? Oh. I'm so sorry, the cable. but we're stopping service. Number 7. A Bison's Penis. Hell's Kitchen. Salmon lamb, please. If there's one thing we love about Gordon Ramsay, and let's face it, he doesn't give us too much to work with when it comes to these shows. Go back there! Get out! Yes! Get! Pile of shit!
It's the wonderfully absurd similes he comes up with. Hey, what's that piece of shit there? In this case, one of the chefs makes the mistake of putting a whole salmon in the freezer rather than the fridge. Stone cold frozen salmon. Who put the salmon in the freezer? When it comes time to serve, instead of a delicious fish, it resembles something a little more phallic. It's like a bison's penis. What is that shit? Needless really? to say, Chef Ramsay is not a fan. Hey, Ditsy! Great job! Number six Gordon versus oh, Amy and Sammy, Amy's Kitchen Nightmares. Company. Ah yes, the infamous restaurant owners that pushed Gordon Ramsay too far. Mm -hmm. As per the usual Just formula of Kitchen Nightmares, our favorite course chef was dispatched to try and fix any culinary or business blenders that the owners were making. And we stand strong together. We have to because there's a lot of online bullies and haters. AKA critics. Except it was a different story altogether with Amy and Sammy. What do we mean? You guys, I make excellent food. You you all think that you can come in here and say these things. Are you yeah. kidding me? This is ridiculous. Well, to put it bluntly, they were insane. Do you have children? Well, we crazy have three Amy little boys, but they're trapped people. inside wow. cat bodies. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they're cats. In denial about their food. I have people tell me it's the best pizza that they've ever had wow. in their life. My pizza today was undercooked. Screaming at customers. You want to wait, you wait. You don't want to pay what did you have and you f up from here. Stealing tips from their servers. Wow, $10 tip. Yeah. That's nice for you. Of course, yeah. Why not? Do you think the girls deserve some tips tonight? No. They get hourly. The list goes on and on. Yeah, I was going to be good. I was on the hourly plan. All of this led Chef Ramsay to do something he has never done before give up. Well, it's finally happened. After almost 100 kitchen nightmares, I've met two owners who I could not help. Number five, more pumpkin, Hell's Kitchen. I'm not just having the risotto, as, as you pumpkin, mentioned. Yeah, with extra pumpkin. Don't even think for a second that Gordon Ramsay limits his insults to incompetent chefs, delusional restaurant owners, or D-list celebrities. This particular customer learns this truth for himself the hard way. I don't see any pumpkin. Seems to be a problem here. Yeah much to our viewing pleasure. There's no pumpkin in it. Yeah. This is like ordering risotto with no rice. He squares up to Chef Ramsay and demands more pumpkin on his risotto. Why is there no pumpkin in my risotto? Right, can you get out of the way? A request Chef Ramsay obliges in his own special way. Seems no one's safe from a Ramsay put down. I just want more pumpkin, that's all I want. Right, well I'll get you more pumpkin, I'll ram it right up your ass. Would you like it whole or diced? <laughs> Number four, where's the lamb sauce? Hell's Kitchen. Come on, please, the duck! Fogger! There's nothing Gordon Ramsay hates more than being given a dish that's incomplete. They just got all quiet! None of you are working as a team! While the flustered blue team desperately struggles to assemble their garnish, Chef Ramsay continually demands the elusive lamb sauce in a moment that has since become a highlight of the entire series. Where's the lamb sauce? Come on, man. I just need a this the lamb Where's sauce? the lamb That's sauce? It's also worth mentioning the additional insult of donkey, which has become something of a recurring trend of Ramsay's. They're gonna blow fire in your face, you donkey! Fat, useless donkey? sack of Yankee Danky doodle shite, however, just hasn't caught on the same way. F you, you fat, useless sack of Yankee Danky doodle shite. F off, will you please, yeah? <laughs> Number three, Let's plastic surgery, Hell's Kitchen. Can you just shut the up for 30 seconds. If there's a commendable trait about Gordon Ramsay's outbursts, it's that he will never be swayed by a person's gender, looks, or social status. Just ignore pimbos. Ramsay's insults are instead all encompassing, as we see when a couple of conventionally good looking ladies decide to flirt their way to some appetizers. Hey, that's so impolite. As you would expect, <laughs> Chef Ramsay is having really none of it. You hurt my friend's feelings. I hurt your friend's feelings? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, she's Why? very upset because you told her to f*** off. Oh, really? Did yeah. I? Yeah, you did. Okay, can you tell her I meant it? In fact, no one seems to be having any of anything, hot girls included. Can you escort these two ladies, please? Back to plastic surgery. Ladies, oh. please. <laughs> Number two, Gordon versus oh, Joseph, I saw this Hell's episode. Kitchen. I know you may be slightly stupid. First nominee and why? One of the most infamous contestants in Hell's Kitchen history, Joseph yep. had an attitude problem, and that was evident from the get-go. Listen, you chip idiot. I asked for one nominee and why, plain English, and you're mouthing off and you couldn't answer me. After failing to answer Ramsey's fairly straightforward question and rambling on about who is and isn't a bitch. I ain't no bitch, chef. I don't give a 
Joseph can't take the humiliation the and actually tries to throw down with the chef. That shit, dog. I ain't here for that. You wanna the jacket? You wanna talk some shit? To Let's notice. go step outside, mother. While he doesn't let the situation come to any actual blows, Chef Ramsay is too busy sure being confused to be faced, which is just as well for Chef Goodfella, because it's pretty clear that he would get his ass handed to him. You got no respect. No respect. Now get out. Before our number one pick choice, boils Ramsay. its way to the surface, let's take a look at a few raw honorable mentions. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Right now, I'd rather eat poodle shit than put that in my mouth. You're calling me a you stuck up precious little bitch. Let me tell you something. Oh, yeah, but I'm not dick face, chef. Uh -oh. Yeah, say that again. I said I'm not dick face, yeah, chef. You're pissed, are you? Oh, I'm not funny. Look at me, look at me in the eyes. Not as pissed as I am. You fing are. Donkey. No. If you're the fing chosen. If you can't man. cook a fing muscle. If you are the fing chosen. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. Go on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Finish it then. Finish what? What are you about to oh, say? Yeah. What am I about to say? Cook a muscle. Look at it. It's like a <laughs> clock. What am I supposed to do? Yes. Hang on the wall? No, chef. No. Who Let's the f are you to turn around and tell me when you were like a pig? You yeah. French pig! Yeah. <laughs> Number one. Look. Oh. Look. Oh. Look. Hell's Kitchen. For the eighth oh. time, can I have oh, one f***ing scallops and a fucking beautifully cooked capellini? This one isn't so much an insult as it is the death of Chef Ramsay's fragile and curse-fueled sanity. During the dinner service, Basically. contestant Melinda has to cook the same pasta dish nine times. Melinda, she had that deer in the headlight look and that that'll look. kill you. Tossing out a whole lot of food along the way. Oh my God. <laughs> you throw that away, Melinda. Upon discovering that she had trashed an exceedingly large amount of capellini, that is, all the capellini ever, Who's putting wow. all this in the bin? How many portions are you putting in there? Both Gordon Ramsay's voice and his poor, lightly battered mind shatter, crack, and split right before our very eyes. Look! Look! What the f is this? And every second of it is hysterical. Jeez. It's beyond us how we managed to not walk out then and there. You're making me mad! Yes, chef. Me mad! Do you agree with our list? All of you. Yes, chef. Yes, yes. Which is your favorite Gordon Ramsay outburst? Do you think I'm scared? For more cooking top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Come on, yes. Donkey's Kitchen. Should we change the fucking logo? <laughs> sometimes how these chef perform, chefs perform, should be renamed sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching, guys. Laters.